This is a tutorial on how to make a stencil for your next laser cutting project. I'm going to grab a box on the left hand side, place it down on Tinkercad. Now I'm going to go to the bottom right and edit screen. I'm going to change this to inches, click update grid, click on my object, hit F so I zoom in, hold control so I can uh, rotate. Click the top of my box, put it down to an eighth of an inch. That's looking pretty good. And I'll move that out of, out of the way. On the right hand side, top right, I'll click show letter shapes. Actually, I'll hit favorites because favorites has, actually, shape generous has what I want. Now I'll click on text. Click down here. Now I've got my text. Now I want to change my text and make it say my adjective. Illustrious is my adjective. I'm going to make the height a little bit smaller. Change the font to one I like. All right. Go ahead and click on Illustrious. Hit F to zoom out. Now this is going to be way too big, so I'm going to grab the corner and make it a little smaller so it's about two and a half inches long. Hit F again so I can zoom in. All right. And I want this to be a little bit smaller than that. I'm going to grab both of these and put them at the center of my work plane so it's a little bit easier to see. All right. <clears throat> Let's pay attention to this box right here. I'm going to make this box two and a half inches long like so. And about an inch tall. Take my adjective, bring, drop it down on top. I'm going to turn the snapping feature off on my grid. That way I can fine tune where I'm moving. I can use my arrow keys to do that too. Let's make a luster just a little bit bigger, like so. Now, I'm going to click on the letters and turn it into a hole. Click on the top right. Now it's a hole. And if I drag over, you can see that these letters will be extruded through the red part. Now I'll group them. And now you can see Illustrious has been cut all the way through. And that is the very first part of making your stencil.